All right, guys, so I want to talk a little bit about hedgehogs. I've made lots of hedgehog videos and care videos, so check those out if you, uh, if you haven't seen them. This video, I'm going to talk a little bit about things you should know before buying a hedgehog. Not so much about their care, but some questions I get about owning a hedgehog and things that people want to know. So first off is what age you should get these guys at. Well, these guys, lots of times I hear people getting them at as young as six weeks. And that's really young for a hedgehog to be going out to a new home and living alone. Hedgehogs really should be uh, kept with their mothers and all their siblings until they're about two months old. At around two months, they should be separated from their uh, opposite sex siblings and mothers. So you put the males in a cage together and you can leave the females with the mother until about three months. And uh, that way they have time to socialize. The mom is there to teach the uh, babies until they're two months old and the females until they're three months. And the males, if there's more than one male, keep those together. And they have time to socialize and you know, know about being a hedgehog and learn because they're still really young. At six weeks, they're barely developed. So it's good to you know, wait till the hedgehogs are three months old. I've actually uh, refused to sell some of my baby hedgehogs to some stores that only wanted two month or younger hedgehogs and I just wouldn't sell them to those stores because that's just too young. When you buy a hedgehog, you should make sure that they're nice. As you can see, this one was born in my house. I've held her since, since she was really young. And as you can see, she's perfectly nice and easy to hold. When you buy a hedgehog, they should not curl into a ball and hiss at you. They might do be a little bit grumpy. She can even be a little grumpy when I wake her up. But as you can see, her quills are all back and down. Mean hedgehogs, their quills will be all up and pointed everywhere and it'll look really scary kind of to most people. But a nice hedgehog will usually keep her quills back and down, so it's not going to hurt you to hold them. So always make sure to hold your hedgehog first. I get lots of people saying, oh, I just bought a hedgehog and I can't hold it, you know, what do I do? Well, my question is like, why didn't you hold it in the store and, you know, know that it was nice and it was handleable before you bought it and brought it home? You know, you wouldn't buy a dog that's biting, biting you in the store. So why would you buy a hedgehog that's mean to you in the store? You know, it's the same idea. So that's a couple things. Uh, lots of people also ask about baths. These guys, uh, their skin can dry out, so you don't want to use too much soap or anything. I think that's the main problem people run into, is they use too much soap, and that ends up drying out their hedgehogs. Uh, what I'd recommend is using mostly just water, or if you use soap, rinse them off really well. And they don't really need a bath more than once a month. She hasn't had a bath in over a month, and as you can see, she looks clean. But sometimes when hedgehogs run on their wheels, they'll get their feet really dirty. Her feet are pretty good now. So you might want to brush off their feet a little more often, but you don't have to give them a full bath more than like once a month. People also ask how much uh, time is needed for hedgehogs. Now, interacting with them is great, and you can interact with them as much as you want. These guys are good in a temperature, you know, around 73 to 80 degrees. That's the good range for them. So they're perfectly happy being out in the house and hanging out with you. And, you know, they'll get more tame the more you hang out with them. But um, if you do leave them alone, say for a couple days, and you got a nice big water bottle, you got a nice big... All right, so uh, there was a lawnmower going by. So what we were saying is, if you do um, go on vacation for a couple days, or let's say you go to school and you just have to study a lot and you don't have much time to take them out of the cage, they're perfectly fine being left alone for you know a couple days, even a week at a time. As long as you make sure that they have food and water, uh, they'll be fine being alone. You know, They're quite happy to be alone, run on their wheel, just explore their cage. So you don't have to worry about that too much, but of course, the more you hang out with them, the better and nicer they're going to get like this girl is. So uh, that was some stuff I wanted to talk about, just some questions that people kind of ask me about them, what age to get them at, and you know some of that stuff. So uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions about hedgehogs, let me know, and uh, check out my other videos. And otherwise, happy pet keeping, and we'll see you guys later. Say bye-bye.